So, uh, there's another thing that has to occur at some stage, and that is that the secular state of Israel, or the Jewish state, uh, becomes a religious Jewish state. And that's necessary for uh, uh, the uh, Jewish people to join with us. We have to join. We're not going to join a secular state. The house of Israel is not going to join with a secular house of Judah. It's going to join with a religious house house of Judah. Um, so this change will most likely occur during a, a world war uh, where the secular state doesn't have the answers anymore to deal with the problems that are coming. And uh, I can already see that uh, the, the mood of the people in Israel beginning to change and move towards that. So that's not a prophesied event, but it's something that must occur in order for us to join later with the Jewish people and uh, will be joined in the North Country. So the state of Israel is more accurately called the state of Judea, and this religious state will at first be antagonistic towards Yeshua, uh, but uh, at least it will be operating in some sort of Torah basis. And um, later, however, they will mourn for the one they have pierced, as foretold in Zechariah, and we'll read about that soon. We will look at this later. This uh, mourning does not bring about the second coming. Most Christians, when they read Zechariah, uh, they believe that when the Jewish people mourn for the one they pierced, then Jesus can come. That's not necessarily the case. Jesus will come after the bride's made herself ready. Just believing in Yeshua is not enough. All of Israel, both the Jewish people, the two tribes and the ten tribes, all together we must uh, not only believe in Yeshua, but we must uh, become ready to meet the groom. And that's one of the purposes of the tribulation. And uh, uh, we're, we're, we've, we've still got some ground to cover before then. So um, so this morning doesn't bring about, the, this morning for the one they have pierced, does not bring about the second coming of Yeshua, but it's a prerequisite in order uh, to bring the two houses together. You see, uh, the, the modern uh, rabbinical Jews will not accept us because we believe in Yeshua. So there must be a change on their side to accept Yeshua. To, to, for them, all they can see is that Yeshua is um, anathema, he's Esau, he's anything but uh, uh, their brother, he's anything but the Messiah. And it's not until they realize who he is that we can have reconciliation. Uh, I can go to Israel today by denying Yeshua, but I can't go there to live um, uh, uh, because the rabbinical uh, Jewish uh, leaders believe I need to denounce Yeshua in order to uh, live there. And that's not something I'm willing to do. And uh, the Lord uh, warns us against that. So God has us on two separate tracks of development, and it's Yeshua that's going to orchestrate the reconciliation. But in order for us to be reconciled, we, we must actually be in the North Country. We're not there yet.